<laughs> I always kind of like these ringtones that Windows Phone offers up. They just got a nice, clean, like, sound to them, you know? I just love them. Anyways, guys, this is going to be a full review on the Nokia Lumia 640 for AT&T, the Go phone it is. Um, this phone also comes unlocked for a bunch of other people, but this review is really going to go in depth and just show you everything you want to know about this Nokia Lumia 640. And if you want to pick one up as a spare backup phone or if you're on a budget and you just don't want to spend a lot for a phone, this phone offers a banging value. So stay tuned. I'm going to go over every aspect of the phone right here, right now. So let's get into this full review guys okay now this I did an unboxing of this phone so if you want to check out the unboxing the contents that are inside the box I'll leave that video link down below in the description or annotated on your screen if you're using a PC it should be easy to see it might even pop up on a mobile I'm not sure but I'm gonna throw this off to the side and we're gonna get into a hardware tour of the device so on the front you're gonna see we have a 5 inch 720 by 1280 HD display clear pixel black technology by Microsoft who bought out Nokia. On the front you're going to see at the top left corner we have a 2 megapixel camera and we have a um, microphone jack for hearing, a hearing piece basically. Going over to the bottom you're going to see we have the micro USB port. Going over to which would be your right side is going to be the volume up, volume down rocker switch and the power button right there. Flipping it back up to the top you're going to see that 3.5 millimeter headset jack which is nice and flush with the, the, um, the design at the top. Going over to the left, there is nothing. It's just a nice clean matte black right there. I showed you the bottom. Going to the back, you're going to see the speaker, which is covered up a little bit. But um, this it has a nice cutout so you guys can, you know, hear your stuff. We have some AT&T branding right there. It has Microsoft logo right here. And here is your LED flash. That is not a dual LED flash, it's just a single. And right there is going to be the 8 megapixel camera, which I'm going to talk about later in the review as well. Now you can also pop the back of this thing off right here, as you can see. And you have a battery in there as well. So you have a removable battery and this is going to come in at, I don't know if the camera is picking this up quite exactly, but it should say right there, 2500 milliamp hour battery. So that's a thumbs up. That's a pretty high capacity for a 5 inch 720 screen. Going on to this side, you're going to see this is your slot for inserting your SIM card. And over here is the micro SD card. I have a 32 gig in there. So it has quite a bit of, you know, options to expand in this baby. So the second thing I want to talk about, guys, is the build quality of the device. Because you might be wondering, I'm spending 80 bucks. Is this thing cheap or what? And I'm going to tell you the matte. I don't know if you can hear that sound. But it's a nice matte feel on the back. And it is plastic, but I would say it has a better feel than the Galaxies of old, like S4 and stuff like that. It's typical Lumia design. Really clean, classy, simplistic. Not out there in your face, but it, it will be out there in your face if you get one of the four removable colors um, for this back. You can get orange, white, well, this is black, and then you got blue. So there is options, and if you go third party, you might even be able to get green and all kinds of other colors for this baby. So yeah, it is a simple, clean design, and the, the feel of it, it does not creak and crack. As you can hear, I'm squeezing it right there, squeezing it pretty hard right there. It's got a nice, solid feel. So basically, you're not going to feel like you spent the only $80 that you spent on this phone. So it's a good hardware device. Talking about software, guys, we're going to hop over into... The settings and we're going to show you that this baby runs Windows Phone 8.1 so basically it's going to be upgradable to Windows Phone 10 coming up soon so you're going to see it has the Lumia 640 AT&T update 2 this is the denim update so you can add folders and such on your home screen as you can see you can do that but this is one of the first phones in line for the Lumia denim update but this is not a video about Windows Phone 8.1. You should know it's a pretty simplistic OS. Very smooth, buttery smooth. It's a right to left. It's got tiles on the front, which are live tiles, which can be pinned from this list right here. So it's pretty simple. You go over to this list, pin your tiles to this home screen, and then you can organize these, put them in folder and such, and then it's just pretty common sense. Just tap your app and go right to it. And you also have this drop down shade, which also goes kind of halfway now. So you might get stuck and be like, oh, what am I doing? So it does kind of go down halfway right there. 
And also on this build, you do have the feature of the knock-on feature, kind of like LG has right there, as you can see. And you can also knock it off by hitting this down here, which you have to go in the settings enable, but you can also turn it off like this, just like that. So that's a pretty cool feature in Windows 28.1. Like I say, the apps need to do some catching up, but Windows 10 is coming in the pipeline for this phone. So yeah, pretty smooth buttery OS. One thing else that I want to mention is that it does have some extra um, little features that you don't see in the other ones. Like this list, the way it's organized, I think it's just this update, like where it says personalization, network, and wireless. These things, uh, it's a little more clean, classier look than it was on other Windows phones, such as the Lumias of, of past. So now you can just tap these and easily go into whatever settings you want to go to. And yes, we do have Cortana in here, as you can see. Hello, Cortana. Well, she doesn't want to listen to me right now. She's being bogus. Hello, Cortana. Hi, can I get something started for you? As you can see, there she goes. Now what I want to do for you is what most YouTube reviewers I see don't do, and they kind of just show you a real-world usage of the device. So going into the device, I am going to just kind of go through it speedily just to show you the speed that you can expect out of this Lumia 640 AT&T. So you're going to pop this open. We're going to hop over into settings. You're going to see that was nice and smooth. We're scrolling through nice and smooth. That comes up and down. We're going to go over into Internet Explorer. We're going to go to Google because we're probably going to go to Google real quick. We're going to go there. You're going to see that opened up. We're going to go to weather. We're going to check the weather for my city. You can see the weather opened right up. We're going to hop back out and we're going to go into calendar real quick. As you can see right there, calendar popped up. We're going to head back out. We're going to check out something on Amazon, maybe go for a purchase or something. Now, this is depending on your Wi-Fi connections, apps that rely on Internet connections. Um, we're going to go see if we can get a case for this phone, Nokia Lumia 640, 540 <laughs> case right there. So we're going to see that it's going to pop right up. And the overall performance of the device, I want to just give you my personal take. It is very buttery smooth. It doesn't operate super fast. Like you've seen that it is pretty quick, but it's more buttery smooth than super quick. Like you don't see it click and open. You just see it like it's like a smooth transition and everything, but it, it provides for a very reliable, efficient and very good experience. And I am very pleased with the performance of this device. It's almost on par with the iPhone for $80. And I mean, I would say if you would give the iPhone a 9 out of 10, this would be an 8 out of 10. Seriously, it's that close. And it's pretty crazy that they can do this at that price of $80. So you're not going to be disappointed with this software experience unless you are a pure Androidist or a pure, did I just make that up? Pure Androidist? <laughs> or a pure iOSist. I think I made that one up too. But uh, basically, if you like Windows Phone and you can deal with them not having all their apps out right away and updated consistently because the developers, this is not Microsoft's fault, this is developers' fault because they have not got on the app game for Windows Phone because they don't have a huge market share, then you're going to love this phone. So software experience, on point. So let's get into the camera part of this device. Now I'm going to pull out the Nokia Lumia 1520. I don't know if you guys have this device and maybe you broke or you're downgrading or probably not doing that. But anyway, Nokia Lumia 1520. We're going to open up the camera and we're going to show you what this offers. Now if we turn it sideways, you want to get the Lumia camera, which it comes installed with. You're going to go over and you're going to see you have a lot of nice controls for this device. And you can basically pretty much set everything as you can see you got front facing camera right there I'm gonna switch that over so you can see real quick if it would let me front camera you can see right there what's up guys and we're gonna switch back to the other side and you're gonna see you have flash you have rich capture mode which I want to go back to show you have rich capture which is HDR for Windows Phone we're gonna go over and you're gonna see we have white balance autofocus ISO controls not quite sure what that one is. I think that's the shutter uh, capture speed and then brightness settings. You can do these manually or you can bring them over and do them all at once. So this offers really good control and ease of use if you're a photographer. But I find just leaving it in auto mode takes really nice pictures. So we're going to go over here and we're going to take a picture real quick. And you're going to see the shot speeds. We're going to turn that flash out because that always slows down the speed of the shot. So we're going to focus in on this. We're going to try to get a macro here. And you can see that the picture taking speed is pretty quick. 
But for this price, this camera is absolutely just great. It takes a little while to process, but I mean, look at the detail you get on this, on this photo. For this price, this is a great camera. I mean, Lumias have always showed their prowess in cameras, and this does not disappoint once again. So you are going to enjoy the camera on the Nokia Lumia 640. So another thing I want to talk about, guys, is call quality on the device. Now, I don't have a SIM card here. It's a SIM era, but basically, the call quality on the device is just great. I mean, it sounds really good. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm boasting about everything in this phone and being subjective, but seriously, most things on this phone are really great. It's a pretty much a five-star phone. Um, the phone is great. The call quality is nice and rich. It just comes in really clear. And I had no other caller saying, look, I can't hear you, man. Or saying, your phone sounds garbled. It's just really good call quality for an $80 phone. Once again, I mean, they really put together a good package on the Nokia Lumia 640 here. So you're going to enjoy the call quality. It's nice and crispy. Team Crispy. Shout out to TLD Jonathan over there on his channel. But uh, it's, it's really going to be a good call quality phone. Okay, sound quality of the device, guys. Now, we always like to have speakers on the front side, most people do, or the bottom is a nice location, but most people do not like the speaker on the back because when you lay it on a table, it covers up all the sound, and most people don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings, and I'm going to show you how this sound sounds, and it's pretty good. I mean, it's really loud, actually, for its price point. I mean, I've heard speakers on flagships that don't even get this loud. So I'm going to go over, if I can find it, ringtone and sounds. And we're just going to show you another ringtone like from the beginning. I'm going to turn the volume from the volume rockers on the right side all the way up in media and apps to 30. And we're going to see how loud it gets. So the camera might not be picking up totally, but it's pretty loud. So let's show you again. Now let's put it on the table, see how it sounds. Now you can see it does get a little muffled when it's on a table. Bring it back up, it's back. Cup it, it's pretty good as well. But you can easily cover it with a finger, so as you can see, be careful of that when you are listening to audio. But it really does, it's not that easy to cover this camera up, I mean, or this speaker up, because it's like right there, so you just kind of got to hold it like this or whatever. It's not that big of a deal. So sound quality is another thumbs up for the Nokia Lumia 640. So what are my overall impressions of the Nokia Lumia 640? My overall impressions are, if you are a person who does not have a lot of money to spend and you are looking for Go phones right now on AT&T's network, this is the best, and I recommend this, this is the best Go phone they offer right now. This phone is under $100. And like I say, this is not only a Go phone, this comes in many other carriers and it's under 150 almost in every um, variant that it comes in. So it's a really good deal. And yes, like I say, if you're a Go phone customer, this is the best deal you're gonna get on the Go phone. Now, if you're a person who just wants a decent phone, you want the camera to be good, everything to be good quality, and you don't really care too much about having all the greatest and latest apps and specs and all that stuff, or you just like Windows Phone OS and don't want to spend a lot of money. This is the phone for you. So anyways, overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this phone a 9 out of 10 because of its value proposition. It's a great value and it's going to serve you really well. It has a removable battery, so if the battery dies, pop it out, put a new one in. I mean, there's um, phones that don't even do that right now, cough, cough, Note 5. And uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Great phone, great call quality, great camera. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review because I really did some hard work trying to um, come up with all this um, about the Lumia, Lumia, third, bleh, Lumia 640. Um, I used it for a, a whole month to try to get a really good take on this phone. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more upcoming tech. I'm going to do some more videos soon. And uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.